Rub up your engines. Lance R. says, Scotty, you're a multimillionaire. Why don't you buy your wife a new 2019 Lexus? She's been with you for decades. She doesn't want one. <laughs> <laughs> she loves her. We took it to the beach. I washed it and she saw it in the sun and said, why, your car looks brand new. I'm like, yeah, because they know how to build them in Japan. And they painted them well. And a gold paint still shimmers in the sun. And it's only got 70,000 miles on it. It would be stupid to get another car. And anyways, she hates the new Lexuses because they have those ridiculous scowling rah, grills in the bottom. And I agree. I think they're ugly as can be. <laughs> she likes her old one. And I do too. I think the old one has much better style and it still rides like a dream the leather seats are still comfy it'd be stupid to waste money she's cheap like me we don't like wasting money on stuff it's dumb to waste money when you don't need it because you think it's you buy a new car you have satisfaction for what an hour and then you're bored with it so <laughs> that's my philosophy of life and it's hers too marcus says what do you think of a used m2 okay i'm not a big fan of the company but the m series hold their value because the m series were basically made for people who are really into driving cars, driving them fast, getting good handling. I got a customer that bought one. He loves driving it around now. It's expensive to replace parts. When the struts go bad, they cost a fortune. But most of those are all standard transmissions. And one of the big failures of that manufacturer is their automated transmissions were weak. Well, you go to a standard transmission, they're pretty bulletproof. So if you want to spend the money and you have a mechanic like me, check it out first. Don't ever buy one without having a mechanic check it out. And it checks out good. It can be a fun toy. And since they hold their values, you're not going to lose as much. Mr. Boom says, Scotty, will Jeep ever be Jeep again? No. Jeep was originally the Willys Overland Company. Then American Motors bought the company. And then Chrysler bought American Motors. And then Mercedes bought them. And then Fiat bought Chrysler. So it's been through a lot of things. I don't think it'll ever be the same again. It's completely different type of setup. It's not a hefty little four-cylinder thing that doesn't go that fast but can go anywhere and last a long time to luxury SUVs and it's a completely different market. They'll never go back. Psychoid says, in your personal opinion, what is the best looking car? I'd have to say that the best looking car, as far as I'm concerned, are the Jaguar, the classic Roadster. Those things were good looking cars. There's no if, ands, or buts about them. How do you think Jaguar was able to sell a reasonable amount of cars with their horrible track record of breakdowns and problems? <laughs> they were good looking cars. There's no arguing that. You know, they make very good looking cars. I mean, the other day I couldn't help but laugh. A neighbor down the street bought a Jaguar SUV and I thought, oh my God, they're making SUVs now. <laughs> But it was a good looking one. I gotta, gotta give him that. <laughs> Louis Nguyen says, Scotty, what do you think about buying a used 97 Toyota Starlet with a carbureted engine? Well, if it runs and goes, you're not going to pay that much for it. What the heck? The carbureted engine, if it goes bad, you can just throw it away. And you can bolt on like a Weber carburetor. They make conversion kits. You can bolt them on. And those things can run quite some time. I mean, don't pay much for it. It's never going to be a collector's item. But if it runs and you get it cheap, eh, it could be a fun knock-around car. John Cranston says, Scotty, what's your opinion on a 99 Toyota 4Runner with 290,000 miles? Those are well-made vehicles. There's no arguing that. So being 20 years old. It's an old vehicle. 290,000 miles is a lot of miles. If you're thinking about buying one, don't pay all that much for it because you're not going to get any guarantee. But that said, they can last quite some time. And you can always get engines for them if the engines go out. I mean, they're all fixable. But never, ever, I don't care what kind of car it is, pay too much for a car that's got that kind of mileage on it and it's that old. You can get a good deal on one and if it runs good and the mechanic checks it out and says, yeah, it's in pretty good shape, hey, have some fun with it. But don't pay much money for it. It would just be plain stupidity to pay too much money for a vehicle that's got that kind of mileage, even though it's a Toyota. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.